Hi, this is an example of a process FMEA analysis on a drilling operation, right? Drilling holes into wooden parts and that would then become a toy. Um, so let's look at the first row here, the first failure mode, right? So uh, the, the, the step is that they would take a, a bar and put it into a jig, okay? To place that bar uh, so that it can be drilled exactly as required okay so what is the failure mode here the potential failure mode is that maybe they put the wooden bar um, but not in the correct position in the jig so in that case uh, it was possible to put the bar uh, on, on, on one side or on the other side or, or in one orientation or, or the other so you know that this would be done the wrong way sometimes right um, then the impact of that is that the hole is not placed correctly and then once the hole is not placed correctly well I mean it's the same thing as in uh, furniture and anything that has to be assembled the, the, the whole product at the end would be bad right so how severe is it I mean you cannot even assemble it right so here we went with very high so here uh, it's very important to have an illustration for the scores and what exactly does that mean otherwise these numbers become way too subjective okay so based on that so this is an 8 out of 10 uh, high severity a very high severity okay potential causes well why would that happen hey workers mistake right and also uh, there's no good guide there's no mistake proofing you know it's possible to uh, put the bar the wrong way into the guide uh, that that's uh, that that's not good, but it's actually still quite common. Uh, so how often is it likely to happen? Well, yeah, five to ten percent. Uh, if they don't do something spe very special, uh, it's going to happen. You know, the worker will not pay attention from time to time. Pop, they will put it in the wrong direction, and um, after that, what are, are the existing controls or procedure? Well. To prevent no there's nothing to prevent it they would have to mistake proof the, um, the, the 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 jig so that uh, the wooden bar can only be put in a certain play in a certain side and certain orientation so there's no controls how are they going to uh, find it if they're going to detect it in assembly well, it's already way too late basically you know the, the pieces of wood have been cut have been drilled now they cannot be assembled what do we do they have to throw away some of these parts, right? Uh, how can you detect? Basically, it's impossible to detect until it's way too late. And maybe, actually, the, the worst is that um, they might be sent in uh, flat packing and they might be assembled by a customer in his home and the customer finds it cannot be assembled. That's a very big problem, okay? So, and here, so what we were saying is that uh, cannot be detected at least uh, before the products are shipped out. Right, uh, so that's the highest level, Im absolutely impossible, and that's why we have a 10 out of 10. Now, 8 times 9 times 10 is 720, and um, when you have a, an RPN score or a composite score, right, is this severity score times the occurrence score times the detection score. When you have a 720, um, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who says that you don't need to do anything i mean this is very very bad very very high you gotta do something you gotta keep going to the right of the fmea and uh, put an action plan in, in place and so on here typically mistake proofing the jig uh, here's another example here um okay you once you have put the wooden bar in place to the jig you drill the first hole well the problem is that we found that the fixture <coughs> The, the fixture that's supposed to keep the bar in place so that the hole is always drilled in the same exact position on the on, on the bar um, is 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 um, you know is is getting a bit loose uh, or a bit damaged or it might get loose or damaged later. Okay, so what's the impact of that? What's the effect? Well, um, the effect is going to be very high. Uh, again, the hole is not going to be in the right place, so. You, it might be impossible to to assemble the full product you know, same as the previous row this is very high okay with a score of eight then 
potential cause why would it go wrong well the fixture maybe uh, is not not properly set up or maybe you know it's not maintained and over its lifetime it degrades so this is going to happen sometimes um, you know after a while so this is not a very high percentage but still this is a, a factor a score of three and then when are they going to find it well same thing in the best case they do the assembly and they find it uh, you know in the worst case it's not find it found in the manufacturing facility it's found at a customer site when they try to assemble it so that's really bad okay uh, and that's an eight in that case okay and and then 192 is 8 times 3 times 8 192 is still relatively high okay uh, and then it keeps going and going and going right you keep going through all the process steps um, and and then you after that you sort them by the the highest sources of risk at, at the top typically and then you can simply um, uh, go and work on them one by one prioritize it now here you will see that a lot of things is in uh, Chinese or is bilingual it's quite important if you work in an environment where the manufacturing people cannot read English well it's quite important that they can actually read uh, this uh, these things okay um, don't don't try to do it in an office and then <laughs> uh, no you need to pull these people into a meeting room and get the information and and share the analysis with them make sure they understand it that's why the more is bilingual the the better all right that was a quick explanation with an example based on a drilling process on wooden pots thank you